it's March Madness time. Hey guys, Giggity Gaming, come back with another video, and in today's video, we are going to make our picks for the NCAA bracket. Let's just make sure. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're going to be making our picks for the NCAA bracket. It got released yesterday, so um, I will probably be posting a group for us. Let me make sure I'm logged in. Just trying to make sure I'm logged in. Should we good? Yeah. And I'll I'll be creating a um a group for us and I might be announcing a tournament with a prize. We'll see, we'll see. Um but that's probably that probably could happen. Um so if you guys are interested in that, there'll probably be a link in the description to fill out your own bracket and see if you guys I could probably do like um the winner of it gets it's like a ten dollar gift card or something like that. We'll see. Um, just fill out a bracket and I'll tell it takes and join the group. But uh, we're gonna start off by just picking our brackets. Round of sixty four. Um, I would love for Duke to lose in the sixteen ranked, but you know that's only happened once, and that was for Virginia last year. But um, I don't see that happening. Um, and then VCU is always. Decent in tournaments, so I honestly eight nines very tough to predict, but um I do think VCU can beat UCF. VCU is in slightly a better conference, so maybe prepare them better. Uh, I'm going to go Mississippi State. I'm not going to be really picking that many upsets, um just because it's not m most of them are not practical, but we'll see. Um and then ACC you got to go Virginia Tech because VT did very they were like a five seed in the um. ACC tournament, so you gotta go with them. Uh, I'm actually going to go Belmont because Belmont's actually a really, really good team. Um, it's only because they're in a lower conference that they did not get a higher seed or did not like it. it didn't it, they didn't get as good of a seed as they should have? Uh, let me go ahead and mute this. No, let's go ahead. And mute this real quick. Okay. Alright. And then for the next one, LSU and Yale. I it's I don't think that one's gonna be close. Um and then we'll we're gonna go with another upset. I'm going to pick Minnesota over Louisville. I just don't think Louisville has not impressed me at all this year. Um, besides their one good win against UNC. Um and then Michigan State, Michigan State, come on. Gonzaga, they're in a bad conference. That's the only reason why they win their conference. Um, can't go against Q's. Uh The only reason why Gonzaga's number one is they're in a bad conference and they won like every game in their conference because their 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 conference is garbage. To be completely honest, uh, I can't go against Q's. Love my Q's. Uh Murray State, I do think could could win that game against Marquette because Murray State is a pretty impressive team. For a yeah, twenty-seven and four, they're just not in a good conference, so that's the only reason why um, they're they're lower down. Uh, Florida State got to go with ACC. ACC is the best conference in NCAA basketball, so I can't really go against a lot of ACC teams. Buffalo, I do think Buffalo is going to be able to win against one of those teams because they have to play in Texas Tech. I'm just Pretty much anything three, uh, one, two, or three is a, is a almost guarantee. Almost, not always, but most of the time they're a pretty good pick to to choose one, two, or three, um, in the first round. But let's go on to the Virginia side. Uh, obviously Virginia is not going to lose two straight, um, two straight against sixteen ranks. That's not going to happen. USMBC, US. UM U University Santa Bar University of California Santa Barbara or something like that beat them last year. Gardner Webb's not going to do that. Uh, Wisconsin and then Kansas State. I just don't see Oregon or UC Irvine doing anything. Honestly, um, I'm going to go with Villanova and Purdue. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go 
Let's go Cincinnati and Tennessee. Uh, I do think Tennessee has a very good team. I do think they could possibly make the Final Four. I'm probably going to pick them to the Final Four uh, over Virginia, but we'll see. Um, can't go against UNC. I think UNC is going to win the whole thing. So uh, Washington. I do think Washington is going to beat Utah State. I, I There's certain picks where where you look at it and it's like, yeah, it might not. It, th these games are pretty close, but um, I think Washington can win that game. Go with Auburn, and uh, as much as I would love to see Kansas lose, so we so UNC does not have to worry about them. Um, I don't think Kansas is going to lose. Uh, Iowa State and then Houston, um, Georgia Georgia State, Ohio State. Ohio State's just yeah not impressive this year. Um, compared to what they usually do. Go with a Wofford. Wofford was pretty good, weren't they? 29-4. That's actually not bad. But they're not in a, not, not in the best conference, but we'll, we'll let them win. <coughs> and then Kentucky, because who the hell is Albul Christian? <laughs> to be honest. But, um, as much as I would love to see Duke lose, I think Duke's going to win. And then they're going to face up against another ACC team. In uh, Virginia Tech, did NC State not make this? Yeah, NC State did make it. Okay. Uh, so that's two ACC teams in the uh, Sweet 16. We'll go with LSU. We'll go with Michigan State. Um, I do think Michigan State's a strong team. I thought Michigan State was going to get the one ranked over North Carolina. To be honest, after they won their Big Ten championship, but they gave them a two seed, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but uh, I'm going to pick Syracuse over Gonzaga because I personally don't think Gonzaga is a strong one seed. Um, I think they're not going to play good against the zone. I think Syracuse has a shot. Syracuse to the eight. Plus, Syracuse always pulls something out of their ass. So, I mean, we got another ACC team in the Sweet 16 and another ACC team matchup in the Sweet 16 as they're going to go up against Florida State. Probably gonna pick Florida State to win that game, but we'll see. Uh, I do think I do think Buffalo has a shot at beating Texas Tech, so I'm gonna put that in there, and I'm going to put Michigan in the Sweet 16 as well. Uh, as much as I'd love to see Virginia lose, we're gonna see another ACC team in the Sweet 16. So that's one, two, three, four, five ACC teams, not including UNC eventually. Um, and then I think I think Kansas State is going to win that game. And then uh, pretty generic for this side. I don't think I picked any upsets besides Oklahoma. Uh, Tennessee and Purdue will play in the Sweet 16. Can't go against UNC. And I think I think Auburn. I think Auburn's going to beat Kansas. That and I really don't want to see UNC going up against Kansas. I don't like Kansas. Can um, UNC is 0 and 7 in tournament play against Kansas. So I think. Uh, I think Auburn, I hope Auburn's going to win, so that's who I'm going to put. Um, I do think Houston, and I do think Kentucky. Um, pretty generic on this side as well, besides Auburn. Now, up to here. Um, as much as I'd love to see Duke lose, that's not going to happen. Uh, and I think Michigan State will win that game. We'll stay up here, um, Another one versus two matchup, in my opinion, with Virginia and Tennessee. Florida State to the Elite Eight. Um, with them not having to worry about a one seed, I think they can. I think Syracuse can only do so much. I picked them to beat Gonzaga. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, and then Michigan, I do think I think I do think this will be a pretty good matchup. And then. UNC and Kentucky. Um, now, Final Four time. Once again, as much as I would love to see Duke lose, I just do not see it happening. And I do see ten Tennessee beating Virginia. I, 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 I believe Tennessee is a very strong team, even though they have Virginia as number one. I have Tennessee win that game. Then, going down here, 
Florida State and Michigan. I believe you see. I believe you see in a, a Florida State into the Final Four. Watch them lose to Vermont, but that's my predictions. Um, you see Florida State because I do think they're a very very strong team. They proved themselves in the ACC tournament, beating Virginia and I go UNC. So Duke versus Florida State rematch of the ACC championship game. As much as I'd love to see Duke lose, I do not see it happening to Florida State at least. So, Battle of the Blues, round number four. It's it's got to be three one. It, it's it's got to be, and then just put a random scoring because I don't think it's going to really matter. Um, UNC, I think I think they're good enough to win the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and submit my picks. Boom. Cool. Now I'm going to go quickly create the group. Uh, my groups create. Um, create a group. Group name is going to be Diggity. Uh, default bracket. Yeah. Uh, choose the public one. Entries, no limit. Um, I'm going to make the limit two. And if you guys do enter to try to get uh, try to win this thing, please use your YouTube name so it's a lot easier, or your Instagram name, Twitter name, whatever you're gonna, whatever you go by, so I can find you easily. Please go by that. Do not, if your name is John, please do not use Thick Boy or something like that. Don't don't do something stupid. Just use your name so that it's a lot easier for me to find you. So there we go. Um, I have my group made, um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that, those were my picks for the NCAA tournament, um, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you guys think, tell me how wrong I am, honestly, those are my picks, um, let's see how it goes, once again, if you guys are interested, links in the description below, or you could just type in giggity and you could find that group very, very easily. That's going to do it for today's video. Until next time, peace out.